Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Beginner's Guide. My name is Josh. Thank you for hanging out with us today. This is episode number five of the Beginner's Guide. Last episode we got started here uh, rounding up all of the animals here that were in the area. You can see there's one sheep left unattended way out there on top of that hill. Uh, he's probably going to be wolf food. We're going to leave him for now. Um, but we got the sheep and the cows fenced in, starting to breed the cows. And in this episode, I want to start work on a hydroponic garden of sorts, uh, just in front of the cow pasture there where we can grow some wheat. Uh, so that's what I want to tackle in this episode. Let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to build a bucket. Um, I want to build a bucket because that will allow us to transport water around, which is very important. I'm going to take that, put it on my toolbar. Now, let's see. I'm going to go see if we got any more wheat that is grown here. I think just one batch. I'm going to get that, replant it, and uh, I'm going to come back over to the cows here and... Do a breeding session really quick. I think we could probably... Yep. There we go. So there's those two are going to breed. Uh, and then maybe we'll breed a couple sheep too. Why not? Come on over here, sheep. Go white and brown. Let's see if they... And they had a brown... Brown sheep. Uh, I think it's a 50-50 like that when you have two different colors breeding, which one you'll get. Um, okay, so what I want to do is have the garden somewhere. I think I want to dig out uh, almost like a foundation a little bit first here. Um, I want to have, maybe I'll almost make it be as wide as the, as the cow pasture, so... We'll go something like this. So I want to have... So if this is stone walkway here, and this is... How do we want to do this? This will be water. This will be crops. Water. Crops. Water. Crops. Water. Stone. And that's not the way it's going to work out here. Uh, do we want... Okay, so this is crops, this is crops. Okay, no, this will work, so that's water. Right? We go stone like this. Something like that. I think that works. So the the walkways allow us to um, move around without stepping on the the plots. And what we can do is we can harvest via the water. Uh, so let's see. So if this is water here, that's water. We can make... I'm trying to think of do we want pathways or not here. Pathways down the middle. Let's just try this out. Uh, we might have to readjust this. I don't like how it works, but... This should be at least plenty here initially to get us started so I think we want to do something like this and then we will cobble that up okay dig out the water troughs now we're gonna be dumping water in here. 
like so. Uh, and now I might even want to put cobble all down here at the bottom just to make it look like it was built. Sort of like a man-made trough like that. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. All right. We will torch the corners. Per usual. Get rid of that. Now, let's start filling this up with water. So, got our bucket. What I want to do first is make an infinite water source, almost like a well that we can use that's close to our base. So, I think a good way to do that initially here, we'll just, for right now, we'll just do something simple like this, but pour it in one corner like that. And then if you go back, fill up your bucket again. And dump it in the other corner. You should now have an infinite water source that you can pull water from. Uh, like that. And it will always stay full. Now we can come over here. Do that, do that, do one there, there it is. Now, we can hoe all this out, yeah, we'll be able to harvest it like this. We gotta go get some more seed. I think we have some saved up over here in our chest. We do not. There's 14 seeds here. All right, maybe we need to get some more then. There's a wandering trader over there. You can go up to them and right click to open up his thing. And these are just the different trades. So these are emeralds, which is like a currency that the villagers and the traders use. So for one em emerald, he's going to give you three blue dye. For two emeralds, he'll give you one glowstone. So and these are just saplings, poppies, gunpowder. The gunpowders, yeah, that's not... You know, that might be okay, but um, yeah, there's nothing really good here. Glowstone, maybe that's not a bad deal. I can think of better things to spend our emeralds on, though, once we get them. 29, let's get 30. Okay, let's see if we can plant these. And I think we're going to have enough. There it is. All right, let's go sleep. All right, let's go admire our handiwork up here. All right, I think that looks kind of cool. So we've got a little wheat farm here set up right in front of the cow pasture. We can go see if there is any more wheat grown that we could possibly use to uh, breed some cows right now. We're going to need to be getting some food soon. Um, you know, now basically if we see any sheep or cows just out in the wild around here, we can probably just kill them and get the meat because we already have enough to breed with. And we can at least breed the cows once here. You can make your crops grow faster with bone meal that you get from skeletons that skeletons drop. Don't forget the experience orb from breeding the animals. Have to rebuild all the experience we lost when we died. It's kind of a bummer. But I think now I want to go get some food. And then we need to start collecting resources for our build, for our house. So, first things first, let's find a stray cow or sheep. I think I saw a sheep up here earlier. I don't know if he's still here, but let's look. Yes. 
Uh, we can, you know, set up a fence for the ducks too. Which you might have to do. Build another small fence for ducks. Uh, fence in spot for ducks and chickens. Let's cook this up, and maybe we'll do that real quickly. We uh, we got an egg from one that one of the ducks, as you can see there. Uh, the cool thing about eggs is if you toss them, there's a chance that it could hatch into a chicken. So that's another way you can easily breed chickens. Um, we're going to need to build some more fencing. Let's go get some wood. We're going to need a lot of wood here uh, because our house is going to take a lot of wood. These fencings take some wood. Our, our entire cottage will be uh, made of wood, so... All right. Got a bunch of wood. Let's make a bunch of oak planks here. And let's make a bunch of sticks that I know we're going to need for the fencing. Do that. And we need one more gate and a bunch of fence, maybe like 30 fence, something like that. Let's see. We got five already, so 25 fencing might be good. Uh, let's do this. Um, something like that, maybe. This seems good, and then we need a gate. It's right here. Right click to expand the menu and to look at your different options, and we have uh, an oak fence gate. And we can go build our chicken coop. Little fenced in area for those. Maybe we can put those behind. Behind the sheep. More like back here. Let's do this. Let's put it right here. Put the gate here. Let's open it. And. And let's put some torches up here. And I think at night it's still a little bit darker back here, so I'm going to place a few more torches around in the back to just keep this area lit. This is kind of annoying. Um, so up there, this is another one of the changes that I've missed out on, is the introduction of illagers. That's what those guys are up there. Illagers, they're like villagers only. Uh, they're not friendly. They like to attack vi villages and villagers. If you see them, if you get really close to them, they will start attacking you. Um, I don't think we're quite equipped to really fight these guys yet. We don't have any food, so I don't want to go over there and start hacking away at them. Uh, I'm hoping they just go away or they'll just leave me alone. Um, I do want to try to find some ducks here, so... I'm going to put these seeds here. Uh, one of the illagers has like a big banner on the top of his head. It looks like a, it's like a tribal headdress or something like that. That indicates that he's a captain. And if you kill him, you'll get a debuff. It's called Bad Omen. And it lasts for like uh, a few hours in game. Yeah, see, as you move around, they just sort of keep tabs on you. They're just watching me. They're not coming at me though. There's some pigs. Maybe we can. Maybe we'll get a couple of these. There's a cave down there. Maybe. You know, you could technically breed the ducks or chickens with just one. One chicken because they'll just randomly make eggs, and every so often. You can try to crack one open, and you will eventually get a second duck from the egg, so that's how you can breed them. I'm trying to... These illagers, a little bit of a wide berth. Okay, so there's one in there. Oh, this guy's leaving. If I can get his attention... Yes, 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 yes. All right. 
Perfect. We got our two chickens. Ducks, chickens, whatever. Perfect. And we can breed them the same way as the other animals. Just right click with the seeds. It will make another one. And then what I like to do is just take the eggs and just toss them into the fence. And we didn't get one there, but every once in a while a little baby chicken will pop up from that. So there we go. See these illagers are still out there. They are. Okay. I'm going to go cook up these pork chops. See how much hunger that helps us out with. Oh, we got some mutton here we forgot about. Perfect. Okay. We got eight pork chops too. That's good. I think one coal should be enough to cook all of them. Let's toss these saplings in here. This is just stuff we don't really need to have on us right now. And we got our pork chops here. Our sword's almost done. Or we might as well just switch to the iron sword for this fight. We're going to need it. Let's see how close we can get to these illager dudes. I just approach it with my shield. There's just two of them. Let's see. Let's see how close they'll let me get. I think when you attack one, or like the captain, they call others. And I think there were three of them, right? Or maybe not. Maybe it's just two. This will be much easier if it's just two of them. I think, oh, nope, there is three. Huh. I'm pretty sure the captain will drop a crossbow, which might be cool. I think they all have crossbows. Here they come. So I got got too close. You can try to try to line it up so that they sh they they shoot each other. There is friendly friendly fire with them. So <laughs> yeah. These guys are really no no trouble at all. Okay. So we got some experience there. Let's go see what they dropped. You get that banner from the captain. You can see uh, on the upper right section of our window, there's like a little bad face, angry face thing. Uh, if you hit E to go into your menu, uh, let's see, and you click click the book here to close it, it'll show you your your uh, negative effects and right now we have bad omen and we got bad omen because we you can see the arrows sticking into our guy but we got bad omen because we attacked that captain and uh, what um, well more more specifically we killed that captain uh, so the what the bad omen does is if you enter the boundaries of a village and we haven't really come across one of those yet so we don't really have to worry here but when you enter the boundaries of a village it, it will trigger a raid and a bunch of, uh, there will be like several waves of illagers that are going to come and try to kill everybody in the village and you have to try to defend it. Um, and so that status effect, that bad omen status effect will disappear in like, uh, maybe like four or five in-game days. It, it, it translates to like maybe two or three hours of game time. I think it's like maybe like an hour and 45 minutes or something like that. You can look it up on the uh, uh, Wikipedia, but... Uh, that that effect, bad omen, will disappear. And if you look, normally it tells you how long the effects are, but in the bad in the case of bad omen, it 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 doesn't. Um, but it is an advancement if you go into your into your book. I think it's under let's see, adventure. Yeah, voluntary exile, kill a raid captain, which is what we just did. Maybe consider staying away from villages for the time being. So that was the achievement we got from killing the captain there. Uh, so let's see, second day, can we try to feed our chickens again? I think we can do that. Uh, I don't think we want to breed the sheep. Got some pork chops. We've got enough food now to keep us busy for a little while. I think now it's time to finally get on 
to what we uh, set out to do a couple episodes ago, and that was build our little starter cabin. Uh, I'm just going to go down to the water here and collect some of this wheat. Just walking, stomping all over it, uh, but that's okay. We have a we have a better farm now. I do want to go check out that cave over there in a minute. Once we get moved into our house, I think that'll be our next our next thing. I also want to explore that treasure map we found too. That could be kind of fun. We could probably shear those sheep. I'm gonna start keeping our shears on us. Uh, gonna trim up some of these sheep. Then we gotta collect some wood. We need some glass too for windows, and for that, there's sand. So I think we're gonna go get some of that first. That way, we can start smelting it. I'm gonna just trim up these sheep. There's a wool in there. Want to go in and get it. Okay. All right. So we got the wool. Let's get our shovel. And let's get a bunch of sand. Because we will need that. So once you have your sand, you can come over to your oven. And if you put the sand in there with some coal... It will smelt the sand down into glass blocks, which you can then use to use as windows, or you can even turn the glass b blocks into glass panes, which is uh, which is what I like to do. Um, it's just a better, better looking uh, version of a window in my book. Let's put our wool in here. Put that banner in there. Smelting the glass. Let's get some wood. These to can use the shears to break leaves, which you can actually collect. And I think I want to actually collect them and place them as shrubs around our house. So let me just look and see. There's actually wood growing over here that we may have missed. Now you'll know if you've gotten everything, if you start to see... Some of these leaves disappear on their own. I think I did see some. You just kind of look and watch. Yeah, see those? Those are disappearing. So uh, we've gotten all the wood out of here. I think. Let's just wait a few minutes. Maybe we'll drop down to the bottom here. This is nice to see from high up. Uh, all of our torches can identify dark spots you can see immediately just right on the outside monsters are spawning got some spiders and creepers and you can see we have our glass blocks and uh, to make glass panes it's really just a row like that and you get 16 of them so uh, maybe we'll do two groupings of them right there i'm going to put those in the chest for now put all these leaves in there for now I think the wandering traders make themselves invisible at night to avoid mobs, which is kind of cool. All right, everybody, I think that's going to do it uh, for us today for this episode. Uh, we've started to collect some wood and some resources for our house. I think we're going to end up building it up here on this hill. So the next episode, we're going to get to work terraforming this plot of land and building our, our log cabin, uh, maybe harvesting some of our wheat, too. It looks like it's growing uh, quite nicely. So thanks again for joining me. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy the content and you want to see more of it. Uh, feel free to check out the Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash late to game TV Thursday evenings and Sunday mornings. Um, I appreciate any and all comments that you guys want to leave on the videos. Uh, it, it, it really makes my day, uh, even if you tell me that my content sucks. So... Thanks for uh, joining me, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.